I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm a genius. Oh really, I am. I'm going to prove it to you. You know yesterday, I was talking about the mount for the jet turbine. In fact, in case you've forgotten, this thing here. So the plan is to attach a mount to here, a mount to here, a mount to here and a mount to here and the jet engine would be held up, something like that. And here's where my geniusness comes in. Yesterday, I was out for a walk and I thought, wait a minute, why not just replace this red thing entirely? This is just a clamp, look at that. That is just a clamp. I can make titanium versions of those that come, I'll show you. Let's say we have the jet engine here. That is the back of it. Instead of having clamps down underneath like that, I can make a clamp that goes... all the way around. So from the side, it would look Like that. I know exactly what you're thinking. Magnus, you are a genius. So you can see now why I'm in no rush to jump at the first idea that comes out. I mean, for a few days I've been thinking about how to clamp this down. I go out for a walk last night and within two minutes of going for a walk, this idea bubbles up. I'm a great believer in the subconscious. You know, you think about a problem long enough your brain, like bubbles coming up from underwater, your brain bubbles up ideas that you wouldn't know of otherwise. And I think removing this clamp and putting a custom clamp on, I think that is a real winner. I think what I need to do is take this off and see how it might work. I don't have any tools though. Okay, well that's a bit of a pain. There is literally not even an Allen key in this workshop. All the tools are like in either my car or dad's car and we take them, you know, back and forth between this workshop and the new workshop. I think I might have something at the house, so time to go to the house. Right, so the only tools I have at the house, not even tools, tool, is this little thing here. It's a funny little set. There's all sorts of little bits and things like that. Not great quality. It's okay though, I don't know where it came from, but it's really, really handy. Look how clever it is. That's pretty clever. Okay, so that's a pile of garbage. Doesn't fit. I've got I've got the right size, but it's a Torx bit and not an ordinary Allen key bit. I don't know what to do now. Wreck my table. I think just now I'll just have to sort of look at the positioning of this thing because you know don't have any tools. I'll be getting tools tonight though, my dad will be coming back from the new workshop, he's got tools in the car, so that's all good. I mean I could put the jet engine quite far forward, now 
I think that's too far forward. It just looks weird. I think all the way back here, like hanging off the end completely, weird. I think there's gonna be a balance somewhere. I don't think directly over the top of the truck is quite right. You know, I'm just sort of looking visually. Honestly, I don't think it matter. God, it's squint. What's going on with that? Honestly, I don't think it matters from a performance or safety standpoint. It's probably more aesthetics and, you know, I mean, I, I, mean, I can mount it anywhere, you know, engineering wise, doesn't really matter. Practicality, you don't want it too far forward. Out the back would be weird. If it's not strong enough, it's gonna be kind of bouncing. Now, grade five titanium has a lot of elasticity. It can really bend and then it will go back again. So you'd have to have quite a substantial bar or plate coming off the back to stop any sort of bending. I mean, that might be good. It might give a bit of flex. Yeah, that could work. Would welcome your thoughts on that. Certainly low down. Definitely want it as low down as possible. Something like that, perhaps. Yeah, I just think I just think having it further back is probably the way because then my foot can be there. You know, I've got a few inches to spare here. So something like that, probably. Well, that's pretty much all I can do with that just now, I think. I'm gonna run another idea past you. Wait here. This is a skateboard wheel, as you can see, a lot smaller than this wheel. This is big and very soft. This is small and very hard. We won't say any more about that. Anyway, what I was thinking, in terms of a brake for slowing me down, I don't want anything rubbing against this wheel because it's so soft it will just wear away. However, if I could attach this wheel to here, something like that, so with perhaps a metal plate or something like that, I could attach this wheel to here. I'll get a better view for you. So if I could mount this wheel here somehow, so when it goes along, that goes somewhere like that. I don't know if you can see that, but the wheel's turning. I could then put a brake somehow on this wheel because this, this one isn't gonna wear away and I can just keep replacing these smaller, cheaper wheels. I don't know if that will work. Like, I, I don't see why not. It's gonna be tricky for sure to try and get that mounted, but I think it's doable. I think I can probably take a plate out from here. I could attach a servo to it and, and have something pushing on, on this wheel. Now you can get some really, really powerful servos. Some of them have metal gears inside and they can just produce an absolute ton of torque, really unbelievable stuff. So I don't think the pressure on that would be a big deal. The only thing would be slippage between this wheel and this wheel. But yeah, I'm curious as to what you think of that idea. I mean, I think it's pretty valid. You can't wait on other people to be what you've been called to be. You can't wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you just gotta run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running with me. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it with you. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody- I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Magnus, why on earth are you showing me a yo-yo? Well, this isn't just any old yo-yo. This is a titanium yo-yo that I designed and made around about a year ago. It's kind of like a project in the making. To be honest, I'd never really been into yo-yos before. Like, I didn't even know they had bearings. Like, this is a this has like a high-speed ball bearing in it. So when you when you throw it, and throw is a proper yo-yoing term it doesn't come back up. To get it back up again, you've got to bind it. Now binding is another yo-yoing term. And that's done like this. I'll do it again in case you missed it. In your life won't believe in you. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're gonna have to do it all by yourself. So I don't really have any real reason for showing you this yo-yo other than I just want to show it to you. Found it in my son's room in a box of other yo-yos. I kind of want to get this going again. What I learned about yo-yos is that balance is very, very important. The slightest vibration and yo-yo connoisseurs will just, they'll send it back, you know, they really will. But I've not sold any of these yet. It was going to be a Kickstarter project. I'm not sure if I will make it. I kind of want to get it up on the go again, but I thought I would just show it to you 
anyway. Out of interest, you see all those marks, those lines around the side? Those were when I was just experimenting with balance and things like that. I would sort of mark things and I'd add little weights on the sides and just, you know, just trying to see how the balance would be affected, really. If you're a regular subscriber, then I just want to point out that tomorrow I might not get a video uploaded. I will get it made, I just might not get it uploaded until the day after because I don't know what the internet connection is going to be like. I'm going to go down the coast and see my son for the weekend. I thought I'd give you that warning because I know how much you'll miss me. Now sometimes I need to keep myself in check in terms of, you know, doing the work that's required to, to get to where I want to go. And to be truthful, the last day or two I've not been slacking off, but just, I, I've been slacking off. Screw it. It's true. And so I want to get myself back on track. And with that, I'm going to give you a quote today. It's by Thomas Edison. And he said, Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work.